What's up GTA fans? Let's dive into the juicy details of why GTA 6 might get delayed even further. I know I know it's been a long wait. But hear me out, GTA 6 has already faced a public delay. But who knows how many other setbacks have happened behind the scenes. It's wild to think that it's taken Rockstar over a decade to develop this game even for a project this massive. Assuming they started working on it back in 2014, it's kind of crazy that we might be looking at more than a decade before it, it finally hits our consoles. If you've been eagerly waiting, don't worry, you're not alone. We're all in this together, so make sure to drop a like and subscribe to stay updated with the latest news. Now, Rockstar hasn't given us an official release date for GTA 6, but we got a rough idea from Take-Two Interactive's last quarterly earnings. Call. They hinted that the game should be good to go by fall 2025. Previously, they were aiming for an early 25 release. But things didn't go as planned and now they're shooting for a later date. However, according to a report from Kotaku, there's a chance that Rockstar might not even hit that target. Apparently, things have been moving slowly at Rockstar, especially after they let go of 600 employees in early 2023. This was supposed to improve the work environment, but it seems like things didn't pan out as expected. So what do you think? Could this delay be real? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates. It's also worth considering that Rockstar is a giant in the gaming industry, and they don't just make random decisions. They're known for sticking to a strict schedule for announcements and releases, so we can try to predict what might happen next by looking at their past games. If we take a look at how they handled Red Dead Redemption and GTA 5, we can see that Rockstar usually cuts it close with their deadlines. By this time, they would have already released in-game screenshots and teasers. For instance, with GTA 5, the first in-game look was released about 250 days after the trailer dropped. For Red Dead Redemption, it was around 210 days. Based on this pattern, we should have seen some GTA 6 screenshots a few weeks ago. But maybe they're just running a little late? It's hard to say for sure, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on. Bash that like button if you're excited for more GTA 6 news. Now even though it seems like things might be behind schedule, that doesn't necessarily mean Rockstar is going to miss the release window. A day of a month or two wouldn't be the end of the world, but it's something to watch. And hey, we've still got some hope. Remember all the big GTA 6 announcements so far come around Take-Two's earnings calls. For example, they confirmed the first trailer during their November 23 call, and the release window during their May 2024 call. Which could mean we're about to get another big update. Maybe we'll see some in-game screenshots or even get a solid release date. What do you think? Are we getting close? Comment below, and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 content. Speaking of trends, let's talk about the PC release for GTA 6. Rockstar has been pretty tight-lipped about this, and the official release window seems to be focused on consoles, specifically the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. But let's not forget that GTA 5 is still insanely popular on PC with over 107,000 daily players. Unfortunately, there's a strong chance that GTA 6 won't hit PC until 2026. If we're lucky, that is, but PC players don't take this to heart. Rockstar usually releases on consoles first to test and optimize the game's performance. This helps them fine-tune everything so that when it finally drops on PC, it's a notch experience with customizable settings. And hey, it's not just about performance. Releasing on consoles first also helps reduce piracy, which is a big deal in the gaming world. So, if you're a PC gamer, hang in there, and while you're waiting, why not hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more updates. Another reason the PC version might come later is that Rockstar wants to prioritize what sells. Historically, PlayStation has been a big seller, so Rockstar focuses their energy on making sure the PlayStation and Xbox versions are solid before moving on to PC. This doesn't mean they're ignoring PC players. It just means they're taking their time to ensure the PC version is as polished as possible. So if you're a PC player, you might want to consider investing in a console if you're super eager to play GTA 6 right away. But if you're willing to wait, the PC version will be worth it. 
trust me. And while we're on the topic if you're excited for GTA 6, make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Alright let's shift gears and talk about the second trailer for GTA 6. This is where things start to get exciting. Initially there was speculation. A rock star has a history of taking a year long gap between the first and second trailers. For GTA 5, the second trailer came out a year after the first one, so it's likely we'll see something similar here. Based on this, we're estimating that the second trailer for GTA 6 could drop around mid-November or early December. What do you think? Could we be getting a new trailer soon? Drop a comment below with your predictions and make sure to subscribe to stay in the loop. And here's something to keep in mind. Rockstar loves to hide clues and dates within their content. If you look closely at the GTA 6 trailer, there's a curious time and date mentioned in the body. Cam footage. 8-4, could this be a hint at something happening? Let's talk about what we can expect from the second trailer. If our predictions are correct, the next trailer should give us a deeper understanding of the game and what Rockstar has been working on all these years. We're expecting the second trailer to provide more insight into the game's story characters. Don't get your hopes up for details about the rumored expanding map or side characters just yet. The next trailer will likely focus more on the multiplayer aspect of the game, which has been a hot topic lately. In the first trailer we saw two main characters, Lucia and Jason. This could mean we'll get to play both characters simultaneously in multiplayer mode. If you're excited about this possibility, smash that like button and let me know your thoughts in the comments. There's also a lot of buzz around the possibility of multiplayer in story. This would be a game changer for the GTA series and could explain why the game has taken so long to develop. Imagine being able to play through the story with your friends, each of you controlling a different character. A pretty exciting thought, right? If Rockstar pulls this off, it could revolutionize the way we play open-world games. But for now, all we can do is speculate and hope that the wait will be worth it. In the meantime, keep the hype going by hitting that like button, subscribing, and sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Alright, so let's wrap this up. Uh, it's frustrating to hear that GTA 6 might get delayed further, even further. There are still plenty of reasons to be excited. Rockstar has a history of delivering incredible games, and if they need a little more time to make sure GTA 6 is perfect, then so be it. After all, we want this game to be the best it can be, right? So let's stay patient, keep the hype alive, and continue to look forward to what's sure to be an amazing gaming experience. And don't forget the best way to stay up to date with all the latest GTA 6 news is by subscribing to this channel and hitting that notification bell. That way you'll never miss an update.